morning you guys happy what day is it today it's tuesday today kind of the beginning of the week still i really wanted to take you guys through a productive fall week in my life i am doing a lot this week i took on a set gig so i am working on set today tomorrow and thursday thursday is kind of up in the air they said if they need me then i'm going to be working thursday it's potentially not going to go through if they don't need me so thursday is a maybe but for sure today and tomorrow i just wanted to show you guys kind of behind the scenes on what my days look like when i'm on set as you guys know i don't take gigs often on set just because i do youtube full-time i don't really need the money anymore i just kind of took this on because i got kind of a more of a high paying role and so i thought why not i love being on set it's really fun i get to like socialize make friends and it's like a really cool experience i'm pretty sure i'm on a disney production today and i'm really excited so yeah i thought i'd show you guys what that kind of looks like i got my call times last night and we're not going to be or i'm not going to be on set until 11 30 and that is honestly best case scenario because usually call times can be as early as 5 a.m which means i need to be out the door at like 4 a.m and so when i got the call times last night that i'd only be on set till 11 30 i was so happy because then i could still do my morning routine because if i need to be on set that early there's no way i can even do a morning routine so very happy about that so i still get to go to the gym it's currently six o'clock joel and i are gonna head out right now do our workout and then i need to come home shower wash my hair get ready and leave it's a bit of a jam-packed morning but i still do have a fair you know enough time because i don't need to leave until around like past 10. anyways that's the vibe for today i still really wanted to wake up early get my workout in because i know it's going to make me feel so much more accomplished and better throughout the day because i was debating it last night but i'm like you know what if i just do it i won't regret it you never regret a workout so we're gonna head to the gym get our freaking butt moving even though it's cold and it's the fall you could feel the chilies in the morning already it's starting you still have to stay disciplined and not just like cave and snooze your alarm and go back to bed and turn it off so extra discipline at this time of the year let's go to the gym get the booty legs working and work out today i have on lululemon sports bra gymshark biker shorts and then this little knit sweater i thrifted actually last year which i was literally obsessed with and wore every single day I just took a shower and I have recently been loving the road glazing milk I put it on every single day in the morning and it's such like a non-harsh product so it would be super good for sensitive skin I was looking for a product that's like gonna be super gentle on my skin in the morning and this has been it I love it so much and it makes my skin really really soft so the hype is worth it on this product I kind of have to get ready to work this morning because I have to do my hair and that always takes takes like a million years so i have to just like make sure i'm staying on top of time i've been using k for like a month now i want to say and i really love the results i feel like it does really help my split ends i just bought like the mini size to try it out before i committed to like the full size because this is pretty pricey i'm pretty sure it's like 40 dollars just for this tiny thing and the big one's like almost 100 would recommend it's actually been really good for my hair and i just put it on every time i take a shower on the ends and let it sit but yeah those are kind of my new products i've been using recently i'm gonna just like moisturize and get ready to go and make a coffee and stuff in a bit this has been my favorite breakfast recently i do goat cheese hey eggs <laughs> um and spinach and tomato drizzle balsamic glaze on it this is like the best balsamic glaze ever and it is actually the best thing ever you have no idea i have never tried putting balsamic vinegar on my eggs before but it's so 
good like please try this and this bottle is pretty huge and it'll last so long and a little goes a long way you don't need to like douse it like this is all that i put and it's so good so would definitely recommend to try this such an easy breakfast and i've been having it like every single day Okay, you guys, I'm officially ready to go to set. I am all bundled up because you gotta be prepared. Like, I don't know what we're doing today and if we have to stand outside somewhere. I'm gonna be prepared and wear a jacket and a hoodie and sweatpants. So I already have like my outfit because I had a fitting with them earlier this week or last week. When did I have the fitting? I don't even remember now. My outfit's already pre-planned so I don't need to worry about like bringing clothes or any of that, which is really nice. So I'm just have this tote bag. I actually recently bought this tote bag from I'm pretty sure Marshalls. It's connected to HomeSense, so obviously, because I'm literally addicted to HomeSense. But I love the red. It literally matches my nails, and it's so fall. It's so fall, and it's just the perfect size because I really wanted just like an everyday tote bag that I can bring with me to wherever, and I just didn't have one. So this is kind of perfect, and I love the red. It adds like a cute pop of color to my outfit, and I actually just recently used it traveling when we went to Montreal, and it was like the perfect bag to bring on the plane, fit my laptop, fit everything. So I love it. It's by the brand and klein and it was pretty cheap it was like 70 bucks but anyways i'm gonna get going i always like to give myself a buffer of like 15 20 minutes because you need to like find the location once you get there you need to find crew park and sometimes i get anxiety driving if i don't know where i'm going and i just like want to make sure i give myself extra wiggle room for time because i hate being late when i used to work my restaurant job i didn't care because like i knew where i was going and i would leave like right when i needed to no minutes to spare but doing set work it's a bit different because the location is most likely going to be different almost every single time you go and so it just makes me feel better less anxiety inducing to just go earlier so i know i have time to find if i get lost or whatever and it just like makes me less stressed out so that is the way to do it so i'm gonna be leaving soon it's 10 36 right now i'm probably gonna leave in like less than 10 minutes so i'm gonna get my shoes on and head out i literally timed myself today to get ready because i had blow dried my hair and i ended up just straightening it because i'm pretty sure for what i'm doing today they're gonna be putting my hair up yeah it took me 56 minutes to blow dry and straighten my hair and to do my makeup under an hour is really good if i curled it it would have taken an extra 15 20 minutes but still like that is i feel like really good and i wasn't rushing myself i also wasn't taking my time but pretty good to do all that in under an hour i would say like after shower you know the weather is so disgusting it's like 12 degrees today raining gloomy and it's icky i want a good nice sunny crisp fall day that's what i'm craving but i think we do have a couple of those in the forecast so it's okay one gloomy day will not stress me away okay anyways let's go to set so we're not stressing and leave a bit early guys i literally just got home from set it's currently 7 30 so really good timing today i was only there for like seven hours that is like a really good case scenario because sometimes you can be on set for like 14 hours but tomorrow apparently the call time is going to be like 5 a.m so i'm bracing myself for that it's definitely not going to be able to work out in the morning and everything there's like there's no time for a morning routine like am i going to wake up at 2 a.m no so tomorrow just might be wake up and go to set but we'll see um actually i think i just got my prelims right now so let's see when i was driving oh yeah 5 30 5 30 a.m okay yeah that's great <laughs> i hate when i can't do my morning routine but you know what 
it's an exception i will live so i'm gonna go in now chill i honestly ate a lot on set so i'm not very hungry so i'm probably just gonna go have some dessert because madison brought me some pumpkin loaf which i'll show you guys when i was gone which is so sweet of her so let's go inside you guys madison dropped off this pumpkin loaf are you kidding me it's giving fall and it smells so good i'm so excited to eat it because she works kind of nearby my area so she brought this to me she baked it last night so i am gonna take a piece now and just kind of relax for the evening and watch my show with joel i love baked goods in the fall so i'm gonna have this and then we're watching the mendez um brother case on netflix that they made so i'm so excited just to relax now good morning you guys it is currently 4 45 and i have to actually get ready really quickly because i need to leave for set in like 25 minutes <laughs> i was literally cuddling with me and she was so Cute. Like, I don't want to leave. Baby. <gasps> oh my goodness. Are you mad at mama for Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I think with having cats is it makes it 20 times harder to wake up when they're cuddling you. Baby girl. We love you. I gotta go get ready for the day. I'm debating having a coffee right now, making one before I leave because they don't really have good coffee on set. I think I need the energy this morning because I am done. Like I got to bed at like 10 and that gave me like six hours of sleep. So, or almost seven, but that's still not enough. Okay, let's get ready, baby girl. Let's get ready for the day. Early call times like this are literally so brutal. Hey guys, I just got ready to go. It is currently 5.15, so I have to leave literally right now to not be late. So I'm gonna head out the door. I just have a hoodie and sweatpants on again today and then my tote bag. Wish me luck to not fall asleep. I'm actually fine right now. I think the adrenaline's running and then once I get there, I'll have a coffee because I do not have time to make it right now. Let's head out. Hey guys, so I just got home about an hour ago. It's currently 8.46. I had like a 13, 14 hour day today. I am exhausted. I picked up Wendy's on the way home and I was just like too tired to vlog or anything. I just sat down on the couch, ate it with Joel and we watched the first or half of the first episode of Love is a Blind. But I'm like, sorry babe, like we gotta wrap this up because I got my call time for tomorrow morning and tomorrow morning it's the last day I'll be on set this week and it's at 6 a.m. So I need to go to bed literally right now because I'm exhausted and I'm tired. <laughs> Like working for 14 hours is rough. It is so tiring. Like being up, like I woke up at 4.30 today and I felt like I lived double life today. Like I'm exhausted. People who actually like work on set as like crew, director, like who are there every day, God bless them because the hours are insane. That is why they say working on set full time, it's like you don't really have a life outside of it. Like it's hard to have a life because the hours are so crazy. Pay is amazing because the overtime and stuff obviously, but there's a sacrifice that comes along with that. You know what I mean? That's why I don't do it often too, it's just a lot. Like usually I'll just do like one day every month or I haven't been doing anything recently. But it's just like not for me to do long hours like that. Unless I was like the main actress, then that's like different because then you're like working on the project like it's you. You know, you really just have to have a passion for it at the end of the day if you're putting in these hours. But yeah, anyways, long story short, I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna go shower and then get my PJs on and snuggle into bed and hopefully fall asleep like right away because I'm... I'm actually exhausted. I tried to take a nap when we were on set, like in holding, and I couldn't sleep. I had two coffees today on set because I just needed the energy. I was crashing around like 12 o'clock and I'm like, this is not good. And yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping and I'm gonna go to bed. I didn't meet like really cool people though. Made some friends. So it's like nice going back to the same set in a row because then you know who you're gonna be seeing, you know the location, like there's no stress. Anyways, I'm literally delusional right now. <laughs> good night, guys. Good night. 
So today I am super excited to share with you guys an amazing tool for editing videos. It's called Filmora by Wondershare. I always get questions on how I edit my short form content specifically. So I thought I'd show you guys on here because it's super easy. So after cutting up and chopping the clips that I want, getting rid of the clips that I don't, one of my favorite video editing tools is the speed ramping. It allows you to change the speed of your clips effortlessly, which is perfect for keeping your audience engaged. Another tool that I love using is their effects. They have so many good effects that can brighten up your videos as you could see the before and after here. They also have many cool titles, you guys. They have so many color options, so many fade in, fade out options, so many fonts. I love playing around with it in every video to make it a bit different. They have a whole library of music and sound effects. So here I specifically put a mouse sound effect because I feel like it's so satisfying and people love it. Also, Filmora's AI music feature generates custom soundtracks that fit perfectly with your video's vibe. And it's actually so cool because these are non-copyright and after listening to the songs that I generated I picked one and put it on my video and it's literally as easy as that. Filmora is available on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android making it super accessible no matter what device you're using it on. If you're looking to elevate your video game I highly recommend checking them out. You can find a link in my description below to get started. Good morning you guys. It is finally the end of the week and I am honestly so exhausted but I need to power through one more day because I have not gotten a workout in this whole entire week. Except for the beginning of the week. I did go once. That's when my call time wasn't until a little bit later, but it really takes it out of you. Like I feel sleep deprived and I just really wanted to show up for myself today, work out and then I could take a nap. I got errands to run today, I could relax. So it's not the biggest deal ever, but I do need to catch up on some work today and stuff like that. But I do, I will have time for a nap. And then on the weekend, obviously, I'm going to get lots of sleep, so I'm not really worried about that. I couldn't really film much on set, obviously, or anything, so sorry if the previous clips were just, like, jumbled up out of nowhere. I tried as best as I could. The last day I was on set, I just didn't film anything in the morning or the evening because I was just literally so exhausted, and I just couldn't do it. Like, I could not do it that was yesterday and i was just like they've been seeing my morning and nights every day it's like the same thing and i was just tired so i went to bed so early last night i passed out like passed out it was such a long day but anyways the grind is real and it was actually in general so much fun even though it was so tiring it was so much fun being on set this week i'm really glad that i did it i made a lot of friends and yeah, it was such a good time, but I'm gonna get a good workout in. I just feel like I haven't properly moved my body in a while since, like I said, I haven't worked out since earlier in the week. So we're gonna get proper movement in today, go to the gym, and then I'm gonna feel so good and productive and complete for the week. It's gonna feel insane. So it's currently 6.22, a little bit later than what I was waking up at this week. I was actually on set at this time, but I did snooze my alarm quite a couple times because I'm just like, this is insane. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to a nice light workout today. Just take it easy, but still get my body moving. So anyways, let's go to the gym together and stay on the grinds. It just like feels so complete finishing off on a Friday. It's the best feeling in the world. Today I'm wearing this set from Maritzia. It's this white sports bra, white leggings, and then this um, blue lemon scuba hoodie. And that is a little outfit for today.
Hey guys, so I just went to my appointment. I actually got my ears cleaned out because <laughs> I have like an overproduction of earwax. Not even kidding you, it's genetic. And so every so often, maybe like twice a year, I need to come to this clinic and they literally take a camera, put it in my ears, see where the earwax is, and then they pick it out. And I actually can hear now because <laughs> my ears get so muffly and my left ear was so bad. Like I could barely hear out of it because it was like the whole, like the wax was literally covered my ear hole and so it was hard to hear now and now talking i can hear so much better like it's like crispy crispy sounds i can hear now which feels so good but i will i will be back in another probably hopefully six to eight months and they do charge like a hundred dollars but it's so worth it like it's so worth it because if i'm not coming to like a specific ear clinic then i need to go to like the walk-in clinic like a regular clinic and they don't do shit for you there like they'll flush your ear out and it's so uncomfortable i hate it i've gone my ear out ears flush up before but i hate it it's so much better when they pick the wax out instead and flushing it out makes me dizzy and it's just not good so i'd rather just like pay and get it done the right way then they have the ear camera and all these cool tools they really know what they're doing anyways i'm just like so happy that's over with because i honestly just like hate the doctor i hate the dentist i hate everything that has to do with like medical shit and this doctor though she made me feel so comfortable she was so nice i just hate when they're trying to like rush you out but no they were really they're so nice here and i love coming to get it done so anyways just got that appointment done with feels so good i'm thinking about maybe going to valley village because i'm in the area right now i am kind of like far away from my house right now like half an hour away and i think there's a value village literally right beside me so why not pop in since i'm right here like i think it's genuinely like right there so let's go do a bit of thrifting for fall just like pop in i don't want to spend a lot of time but it's the morning it's only 10 30 right now because my appointment was at 10 so may as well just go in pop in for half an hour and see what they have because i have been wanting to go thrifting for fall so let's go to vv so i just got home i ended up going thrifting i got two things they're currently washing so i'll show you guys when they're out i spent about half an hour in there and i think i said this before but when i'm like shopping alone especially like thrifting and stuff i like to have another person there with me to help me make decisions because i'm like is this ugly is this cute do i have a vision like it's so overwhelming so i didn't want to spend too long in there i did get two things so i'll show you guys that when they're done but i did get a couple packages i ordered from amazon prime day i got the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is like my go-to mascara. I was off of this for a while. I was using a different mascara. I don't know why. Then I bought this one again, picked it back up, and I'm like, holy shit, I forgot how good this mascara is. This is like my tried and true chef's kiss to this. I wish they made it in brown though, because I can't find it anywhere in brown. I'm pretty sure they only sell it in black. But anyways, it was a couple dollars off, so I picked it up on Amazon, and I also ordered um, the Laneige Lip Mask that I think is probably going to come tomorrow, and just the vanilla flavor, because that went like on sale. It was only like $22 or $20, and on Sephora, it's like $35, so I had to order that because my lips have been just like so dry recently. I need to sleep with like a real lip treatment on, because I usually just use Aquaphor, but I feel like that doesn't do as good of a job as like a real, like genuine and like actual like lip treatment does so i ordered that for the winter and those are the two things that i got on amazon prime day and i'm kind of freaking out about this because cerave sent me a package i literally have used cerave products for years now and i'm so excited so thank you so much to cerave for sending me this they gave me their ultra light moisturizing gel which is new i can't wait to try that and then they also gave me their pm facial moisturizing lotion and then their ultra light moisturizing lotion with spf 30 because you know you got to protect the face i don't think i've tried any of these products so i'm really excited so yeah thank you to sarah v i love getting pr packages from brands that i use because i'm like wow that's like so crazy how they just sent me something it's like surreal so really really grateful for that but anyways i just like entirely cleaned the kitchen because it needed a good clean i cleaned out the fridge and things just feel so much more fresh now and better and 
I'm gonna go on my computer now and just catch up on work do some editing and just like reorganize everything before the weekend so that I'm not stressing out because if things are not organized it will be like in the back of my brain and it'll be like a weight on my shoulders and I hate that feeling so let's go do some work on the computer get things organized I haven't taken a nap yet though because I think my coffee curbed my tiredness this morning or I drank the coffee like right before um, my appointment so I did have one earlier this morning but I know I'm gonna hit a wall tonight which will be good because then I'll go to bed early have a good long sleep so anyways let's go to the office and do some work guys i'm going to start making dinner it's fall it's cozy and so i literally went on pinterest and i typed in cozy fall dinners there's this soup that i've never made before because i wanted to try a new soup i feel like i'm kind of always making the same soups over and over again because they're so good and they're trustworthy but it's good to switch things up once in a while so i found this soup and it's called something chicken noodle let me see it's called marry me chicken noodle soup and it's basically what it looks like is like a creamy chicken noodle soup nothing sounds better to me than that right now so i'm gonna make it it has sun-dried tomatoes in it it has obviously chicken noodles which i'm gonna do gluten free and it just looks bomb so we're gonna try that out new soup for the fall give you guys some dinner inspo and give myself honestly some dinner inspo because i need to try a new soup recipe it's been a hot minute so i'm excited to make it four o'clock right now so start starting the night off early because i got everything i wanted to get done today it was a very productive day everything feels clean and nice rejuvenated and i just feel good so starting dinner a little bit early today and while i'm cooking i'm gonna put on the vampire diaries because i love a good fall moment lighting the candle in the kitchen putting on the tv and cooking dinner i love how like my living room is laid out so it's literally right there and then the kitchen is right here so i can tilt the tv and it's just a vibe so it makes me look forward to cooking rather than like resenting it because it's like not cubed off in the kitchen i love how it's like open concept anyways gonna do that set the vibe and let's get cooking this chicken noodle soup and then also after i'm done cooking the soup we're gonna make some pumpkin loaf going crazy today i know but madison my younger sister she made a pumpkin loaf and she brought me and joel some and it was the best thing i've ever had it was so moist it was so good and so we're gonna make that as well um probably just while the soup is cooking so i'm excited for that Oh my gosh you guys i think this just might be the most delicious soup i have ever made i will link this recipe down below because i know it's gonna be fire this is actually the best thing ever so will be linked down below it was kind of an intricate soup to make wasn't the easiest but also it's not really hard there's just like a couple more steps than the usual like easy chili soup or something like that it's so worth it oh my goodness i'm so excited i'm going to rip all of this right now <laughs>
the soup that I made was absolutely delicious. I will have a link in the description. It was literally amazing. Joel and I ate it up. Pumpkin loaf was so good. That'll be linked as well. Today was such a good productive day and I'm gonna head to bed now. But before I do, I just wanted to show you guys my little thrifting haul. So I actually got this fleece. It's really cozy and I just washed it. It smells so good. And it's just, you know, your average fleece. It's from like Uniqlo and it was literally $5. So couldn't pass her up because it's fall and I'm going to be wearing so many of these. And then I literally, this shirt matches the one that I have right now, but I love it. I am so into stripes right now and it's just a nice like casual shirt to hang around the house in. And that shirt was literally $3. So, oh yeah. Also, if you've never tried the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, it's actually tea because my cousin Chloe, shout out Chloe for watching this. She has it. And she let us use it when we were with her to try it out. And when we were in Montreal, I literally used it every day I was there because I didn't even bring a setting spray. And it makes your makeup last all day. Like seriously, it makes it last all day for real. And I've used a lot of setting sprays and this one actually does it. I randomly was scrolling Sephora the other day and I realized that this is a new holiday gift set that they just like released. And it's basically two for the price of one so madison and i wanted to buy it and it just so happens that we both haven't bought any yet and so i'm like oh my gosh we need to order this together and it only ended up being like like around 30 dollars for each of these setting sprays and normal price is like 55 60 so such a steal on these um so i'm gonna give one to madison so we can both have one but literally two for the price of one so it's not sold out already which i'm assuming it probably is going to be because whenever sephora puts out deals like this they go so fast so excited I have a good setting spray now because I run out of like mine. But anyways, I'm gonna go to bed now, get ready for bed, get in my PJs, wash my face, and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and especially if you stuck around till the end. I literally love you. Let me know if you liked this video, seeing kind of behind the scenes of when I was on set and just a couple few or a productive week in my life. So let me know if you like this type of content and if you want to see more of it. I'm not on set, like I said, all the time, literally rare occurrence. But I guess it is something to show you guys a bit behind the scenes. So anyways, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.